What's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here to bring you some more Super Smash Brothers Wii U and 3DS news. Now, we have some more leaks. Are they real or are they fake? I don't know. But either way, if they are real, then you could potentially be seeing some leaked information from the game that's official, or unofficial rather. So, if you don't want to be spoiled, click your ass off the video right now. Because, you know, you can't hold it against me that I spoiled you because I didn't leave anything descriptive in the thumbnail of the title and I gave you a warning in the beginning, this may be real. So, whatever the case may be, that's out the way now. If you're still here, what's up? So now, before we go into this, I want to give a big heads up to one of the people that actually referenced me to this leak because he mentioned it to me in a video and no one else had gotten it to me. Now, I'm going to tell you guys again, well, for the first time, um, if you know of any leaks or any information about Smash Brothers 4 which you think I don't know of, and if you suggest it to me first, then I will give you credit for suggesting it to me. But if I find it myself, then, you know, obviously I can't, you know, shout out anyone. But I'll give you a shout out if you manage to get the news to me first. So. What is the news exactly? What is it? I told you, it's a leak. And once again, it looks really fucking compelling. Let's take a look at exactly what we're talking about here. Now, if you guys are reading this now, like, so first off, I gotta give a shout out to Leaker Water, who is a YouTube channel where this leak came from. Now, before we talk about the legitimacy and if it's official or not, we're just going to watch through the video and see exactly what the hell is going on and what kind of leak this is. So let's take a little bit of a watch. That's Metal Sonic, dude. Metal fucking Sonic. Now, on the surface, that looks really compelling. I mean, to be honest with you, if you didn't really know about certain details of this, you could probably take this off as real just because, you know, it looks like it fits so well. Now, there's a lot of things that I guess could be wrong with this, but the first thing that I'm going to say is that the colors for the Player 3 and Player 4 buttons are a little bit weird. And why is the Player 4 button before the Player 3 button. You can automatically use that as discredit because, you know, as much as things may change in the design process, I don't think something like that would be, like, doable. I mean, I mean, it would be doable, of course, but why would it be practical, you know? So that may just make this whole thing illegitimate in the first place. Not to mention that it's kind of weird that Sonic would have an alternate costume like that to the point where it's like almost a whole new character design. I mean, I don't know, I haven't seen Sakurai implements a recolor or a different alternate costume that goes to that crazy extent. I mean, this is looking like some Project M standards right now. Um, I don't know if this would be... I don't think it would be real either because he has Sonic selected, yet you don't see Sonic's little portrait thing at the top like you usually do for characters when they're selected. Like, you don't see Sonic's ring, I believe. I don't know if it's a ring or not, but basically you don't see any any highlighting symbol of this is Sonic that you selected plus what screen is he on exactly if he has Sonic selected we should have heard the announcer say Sonic if we have the volume on already a lot about this leak claims that it, a lot about this just looks sloppy and even someone like me who's uh, to be honest a hopeful romantic is not really fooled by this it doesn't seem realistic at all I mean the guy did a damn good job I mean he kinda got it to move with the um, camera and it looks it looks really compelling but on the surface I don't think this is real but we're going to go through the comments section and let's see what you guys have to say about this leak video which by the way I will put it in the, in the description below so you guys can check it out for yourself we're gonna read through the comments on this alright so Nega Silver 63 says alright let's see you made a new channel just to post this video and called it leaker all of Metal Sonic's colors are super similar like Sonic and Brawl Meanwhile, in Smash 4, Sonic now has vastly differing purple and white skins. The same wouldn't be done to Metal Sonic? These recolors look pretty damn bland. Why not make them all red? Exactly. The colors kind of just look like sort of variations, like one had more contrast, one didn't, one had more saturation, one didn't. It wasn't actually like changing the palette, because as you guys are seeing up here, when he changed Metal Sonic's color, I mean, look at that. The colors are so similar there. Can you really... S I, it doesn't seem realistic to me. One seems like it has a little bit more purple. You know, it's not, it's not realistic. Next, I noticed that the normal, non-recolored Metal Sonic was the last one you showed. Meaning, to get there, you cycled backwards through Sonic's colors. Why not just go forward and show off Sonic's new colors, too? Is it because you couldn't, maybe? Mmm, exactly. That flash between Sonic and Metal Sonic at the beginning. I don't know, personal opinion, but it looked pretty off to me. 
Metal Sonic as a character has completely different attack sets from Sonic. Sure, he was built to be a perfect copy of Sonic, but never he never homing attacks or runs with his hands behind his back like Sonic does. And if you guys play Sonic Adventure 2, it's one of the best Sonic games ever created. When Metal Sonic is in that game, he he runs like he he, he looks like a missile when he runs. He's, yeah, I mean, it just seems like Sakurai would be reaching, putting an alternate costume like Metal Sonic in when he's so different from Sonic. They're, they're not even relatively similar in terms of the way they fight, so it makes no sense there. Sure, he was built to be a perfect copy, but he never homing attacks or runs with his hands behind his back, so conceptually, he wouldn't even really work as an alternate costume here. I think that about covers everything. I'll add to this later if I notice anything else that makes this look fake as hell, as it were. <laughs> uh, I'd like this for sure. But if you want anyone to believe this, you better show some gameplay footage instead of a character select screen. And you know, this once again is one massive argument against this and the other leaks that were in the other video that I talked about. The, um, the recent motherfucking leaker leaks. How are you going to show the character select screen but not show some video footage? At least the dude, that motherfucking leaker, was able to show, you know, some screenshots of gameplay footage which kind of made people like, whoa. But this guy has a camera rolling on a potentially leaked copy of Super Smash Bros. 4 and he only records the character select screen and doesn't even show Metal Sonic in action on a stage? I'm not buying it. All it takes is you pressing the A button and you clearly have a 3DS here because as you guys can see, well we can't see, you can't really see that this is on a 3DS. We don't know if this is on a capturing device or not because you can't really see a space between the, um, between the two screens so it's kind of tough to know that information. But they mean to tell me that if this guy did have it, he wouldn't. He's recording. It's not like he's taking pictures. He's recording, so he has to be able to just move the camera up and show the guy in gameplay. That's all he has to do, and that's what makes these leaks seem a little bit odd. That they wouldn't take pictures of the stuff that people really want to see, except for maybe the, the leaks that came out two days ago, because you know he kind of did take pictures of the gameplay footage with Shulk and all that. It, but this one, this leak, I don't know. I don't know. No, no, I don't know. This shit better be real. This is what Sonic Speed says. Twip says, show us gameplay, then I'll be impressed. Um, MMSK786 says, no series icon, which is what I said. There's no ring, there's no representative icon of Sonic now that he's selected. With awkward player number position in the front, and nickname is different. Fake confirmed. To be honest, it seems kind of sloppy that the guy put the player 3 before the player 4. That seems extremely sloppy to me. Some people were saying that maybe you can change the position, but why do that? There's no need for it. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I think that that's a glaringly obvious mistake, but the person who made this leak is clearly way more sloppy than the person that made the um, previous leaks with the Duck Hunt dog and all that. Honestly, I don't think alts confirm or deny anything. Considering the alts that we've been shown, I don't find Metal Sonic to be outside the realm of possibility, which is what Eric Malone says. Having said that, I find it odd that they put in something like Metal Sonic and not make him a whole other character. Yeah, it doesn't fit for Sonic. I mean, let's not forget that Sakurai said that if a character has even the tiniest of differences. They get a slot on the roster. And Metal Sonic is quite different. And if you play Sonic games, you already know. You don't even have to play Sonic games to know how fucking different Metal Sonic is from regular Sonic. Can anyone tell that I think Lucina is the dumbest addition to Smash since <laughs> Young slash Toon Link? Yeah, I don't believe it, but a Metal Sonic alt will be amazing. And I'll, I'll agree, Metal Sonic in the game, that would be awesome. Because, you know, I'm a huge Sonic fan. That's, the, that's my favorite game series, so, you know, it would really work in my opinion. No green Metal Sonic or red, and the whole P4 before P3 is a little weird unless that can be changed for some reason, like Wi-Fi matches. However, it's most likely just a fake. Um, Deep Six says, to those wondering about Player 4 before Player 3, it's a Wi-Fi match, you can see. It says, under the, selecting under the portraits. That would explain why the order is a bit messed up. The servers wouldn't be up yet, though. Local Wi-Fi, just like they're using the 3DS demo. Maybe, but we haven't really seen in a 3DS demo at E3 the fact that you can change the player position in terms of like character select screen. I'll give it a B for effort. I can count. One, two, three, one, two, four, three. <laughs> Am I right? Uh, by Kitsune X. Um, that bash, he says, player four before player three. Um, Mr. Mario Man 369 says, I never knew that player four's color was yellow, not green. Nice try, though. Um, Tamjan says, actually, player three and player four's positions are flip flop. Look at the player name in the slots. The colors are correct, but the positions are just flipped. If this is real, curious as to know why this would happen. Maybe you can flip how the player positions are located on the touchscreen? That would be interesting. No, it wouldn't. It wouldn't make any sense whatsoever. I don't see the practicality of that kind of thing at all. And the final comment, the blue moon eye says, interesting. That's actually the first YouTube comment ever created. Um, the first YouTube comment ever made on the first YouTube video was interesting. Pretty, pretty cool. 
But anyways, um, this has been some coverage on this leak. In terms of the where I feel on it, right now I'm leaning towards it being 85 to 90 percent fake, 10 to 15 percent real. No, it is. No, it's fake. No, it's fake. No, it's fake. What do you guys think, though? I want to hear your opinions. Try to break this thing down. You can comment on my video, and you can go to the person's video who's linked in the description and comment on theirs. You know, we got to figure out what's going on with this. Um, I don't think we're going to see any more from this leaker, but I subscribe to them, so that way I'll be able to keep up with any other information that comes out of this, because, you know, after the whole Greninja Halucha thing, I, I even though sometimes leak fakes are obvious, I don't want to be 100%. I'm Right now, I'm 85%. It's fake. But let's see, you never know. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.